How many of you have mud flaps or splash guards that look like this? Full of speed bump rash that isn't too attractive. We have a solution for brand new mud flaps that won't mean a trip to the body shop. You'll save yourself some money and you can complete the task on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. In this video, we'll show you the steps and materials you'll need to have splash guards that match your car. Here we have the old plastic mud flap from my solstice showing extreme road rash. We're going to start with a new one and show you how to refinish plastic from a good new piece. Obviously repairing this would have been extreme, so we're not going to try. There's our good new piece. We got this one from storage where we had one. I had to find the one for the opposite side of the car online. First thing, wipe it off with a tack rag. Make sure it's thoroughly clean of dust, etc. You might want to use Prep All also to clean it before spraying with the Duplicolor plastic adhesive promoter. This needs to be sprayed a minimum of two coats, three minutes apart, and just nice light even coats. Then you have to come up and do it your second time here. You can use up to three coats, but when you're going to do your painting on it, you have to start within 10 minutes of the last coat. Here we have our Duplicolor Perfect Match paint. It's in Ming Blue, which is what my color is for the car. And this is actually a lacquer paint. So between the adhesion promoter and the Duplicolor, we're not having to have to use a primer here because Effectively, the lacquer paint and the adhesion promoter cause it to bite into the plastic. This will work just fine for finishing. Now you notice I'm doing more than one coat. You're going to need a minimum of two, maybe three. And if you're using a lighter color, you may have to have a gray primer just to deal with the fact of covering up this plastic piece, because in this case, it's black. Now we're spraying the clear coat on. The clear coat here is Deltron. I'm using Deltron Clear. So I'm doing a base clear system even though I used a lacquer finish to start with. I use the Deltron Clear at the recommended ratio plus about one third of the volume added in slow urethane reducer. The objective here is to cause it to flow out and not have to sand anything. So you're going to need that slow urethane reducer and thin down your clear to cause this to work well. I have about 60 pounds of pressure on the line, but that's an HVLP gun, so it's very low pressure set at the gun itself. You're going to need a minimum of two coats. In fact, I actually did three. And as I said, you need the slow urethane reducer. First coat should be light, it should be a tack coat. The other two coats that I use were much uh, more wet and the slow urethane reducer caused it to flow out very well. The other thing on the day this was painted, it was only about 50 degrees. But you'll see there in the finished one compared to the crummy one, the finished one is super smooth. There is no color sanding done to that. That is the way it was shot. Remember, Deltron Clear, by normal mixing ratio plus one third slow urethane reducer is necessary to get that result on your finished part. And there you can see it mounted on the car. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Visit Custom Replications if you want to know more.